Okay, good morning and welcome to today's Finance Committee meeting. My name is Councilmember Daniel Drum and I'm Chair of the Committee. We have been joined by Councilmember Jimmy Van Bramer, Councilmember Robert Cornegie, Councilmember Vanessa Gibson, Councilmember Helen Rosenthal, Minority Leader Steve Matteo, Councilmember Keith Powers, Councilmember Barry Gredenchik, and Councilmember Adrian Adams. Uh, today the committee will be voting on 11 items, three resolutions relating to the Banking Commission's recommendations on interest rates, and eight Article 11 property tax exemptions. Let's start with the resolutions that would set certain interest rates for fiscal 2020. Every year the Banking Commission provides recommendations to the Council relating to the discount received by property owners who pay their taxes early and the interest rates paid by property owners who pay their taxes late. For fiscal 2020, the Banking Commission has made the following recommendations. A 1.5% discount rate for those who pay their property taxes early. A 7% interest rate for the late payment of property taxes on properties with an assessed value of $250,000 or less, which is approximately 95% of all properties in the city. An 18% interest rate for the late payment of property taxes on properties with an assessed value of more than $250,000. After careful consideration of the Banking Commission's submission to the Council, the Council is recommending that the interest rates be approved as set forth by the Banking Commission's recommendations. As per state law, the interest rates for the late payment of water and sewer bills will match the rates set for the late payment of property taxes. A representative of the Banking Commission is here to answer any questions that we may have on interest rates. Lastly, we have the Article 11 property tax exemptions. The first is Fairstead, 48th Street in the Speaker's District in Manhattan, which would, have, which would provide a partial 40-year exemption to preserve 54 units of affordable housing. The second is Fairstead, 53rd Street in the Speaker's District in Manhattan, which would provide a partial 40-year exemption to preserve 51 units of affordable housing. The third is Jennings Terrace Gardens in Councilmember Gibson's district in the Bronx, which, which would provide a full 30-year exemption to preserve 41 units of affordable housing. The fourth is Walton Avenue Senior Housing, also known as the Fannie Lou Hammer Apartments in Councilmember Gibson's district in the Bronx, which would provide a partial 40-year exemption to preserve 75 units of affordable housing. The fifth is Black Spruce, Central Harlem, in Councilmember Perkins District in Manhattan, which would provide a partial 30-year exemption to provide 224 units of affordable housing. The sixth is Black Spruce, Washington Heights, in the districts of Councilmembers Levine and Rodriguez in Manhattan, which would provide a partial 40-year exemption to preserve 420 units of affordable housing. The seventh is Five Tellers HDFC in Councilmember Salamanca's district in the Bronx, which would provide a partial 40-year exemption to preserve 42 units of affordable housing. The eighth is Lexington Courts in the districts of Councilmembers Ayala and Perkins in Manhattan, which would provide a partial 30-year exemption to preserve 229 units of affordable housing. Each of the council members are supportive of the projects in their districts. Representatives from HPD are here to answer any questions that we may have on any of the land use items. Those are all of today's items. Uh, are there any questions? Okay, uh, Billy uh, Martin, will pl please call the roll. Billy Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on finance. All items are coupled. Chair Drum. I vote aye. Gibson. Permission to briefly explain? Yes. Thank you, Chair Drum, and good morning, colleagues. I wanted to certainly go on record and speak in support of the two Article 11 items on today's agenda. Uh, Jennings Terrace Garden Co-op Apartments in my district um, are co-op apartments that were formerly scattered site owned by the Housing Authority. And over the years since I've been in the council, I've had a great relationship with uh, President Kathy Johnson, um, and we've done tremendous work on behalf of her and her board and all of the shareholders, and I'm really proud that today we 
not only vote to preserve uh, these affordable homes, um, but we continue to invest in the Bronx. And Walton Avenue Senior Apartments, the Fannie Lou Hammer, is operated by Mid-Bronx Senior Citizens Council in my district uh, that has been a long time provider of affordable senior housing. And I'm grateful that today we uh, affirm to preserve 41 more units. Um, and these are housing units that are average about 50% AMI are for many of our seniors in single and one bedroom from units, so I'm very, very proud of that. And I want to thank HPD and certainly the management companies, Mid Bronx and Jennings Terrace, for their support through this process in making sure that once again, as a collective, this city council continues to invest in the city and specifically preserve housing in the Bronx. So I vote aye on all and urge all of my colleagues, please vote yes on Walton Avenue Apartments and Jennings Terrace. Thank you so much. Cohen. Aye. Carnegie. Aye. Combo. I vote aye. Rosenthal. With congratulations to my colleague in the Bronx, I vote aye on all. Van Bramer. Aye. Gordenchik. Aye. Adams. Congratulations, Councilmember Gibson. I enthusiastically vote aye. Powers. Aye. Matteo. Uh, in relation to Resolution 889, I think the interest rate should be lower, so, th so I'm going to vote no on Reso 880889, and I and the rest. All items on today's finance agenda have been adopted by a vote of 11 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, with Resolution 889 being adopted by a vote of 10 in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. All right, and with that, thank you very much. This meeting is adjourned at uh, 1040 in the morning.